Hey there, it's Anna. Today I've got a secret to share with you, the power of reverse psychology in attracting women. But before we dive in, you have to promise to use these only for good, okay? These methods are potent and when used correctly, they can drive women wild. We will explore why they work and how you can master them. And remember, if you really want to succeed with this, the bonus tip at the end is vital. Scarcity induced desire. Scarcity induced desire is based on the principle that people value what is less available. Now in the context of dating, certainly indicating that your availability is limited can paradoxically increase your desirability. It's about creating a sense of value and rarity around your time and presence. Now this method plays on the psychological tendency to pursue what seems to be in short supply. However, it's crucial to employ this method with care to avoid games or manipulation, ensuring the approach remains respectful and genuine. To use this method effectively, balance your availability with a busy, fulfilling life. You might, for instance, suggest specific days that you are free for a date rather than being always available. Now, it's not about playing hard to get, but rather about genuinely living a life that makes your time valuable. Express your interest clearly, but also communicate that you have other time commitments and interests. Now, this approach makes the time that you do spend together more special and sought after. Remember, the key is authenticity. Your life should be genuinely fulfilling, not just a tactic to create scarcity. In short, acting like you are limited edition will actually boost your attractiveness because it tells women someone like you does not come around often. And why not increase this intensity of the feeling that she gets by looking the part? That way, you aren't just stimulating her emotionally, but physically. And that is why Tiege Hanley is the sponsor of today's video. Tiege Hanley makes everything so simple, so don't worry if you're like, what, skincare? Where do I even begin? Now, this is their essential routine, their level one system, which includes a daily face wash to wash away dirt, an exfoliating scrub that you use twice a week. Now, this bad boy will make your skin look amazing. An AM moisturizer with an SPF of 20 to prevent any sun damage that will actually age you quicker, a PM moisturizer to help your skin stay hydrated and you will look fresh and radiant in the morning, super serum to firm the skin, it smooths out and prevents wrinkles, and also an eye cream to diminish eye bags and give you a younger appearance. Not only will your skin look amazing, but members of Teach Hanley get tons of benefits, including at least 25% off the retail price. Now you can customize your box, you can receive exclusive monthly deals, you can pause or cancel at any time and there's free US shipping and low cost shipping to most other countries. And because Teach Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they are offering my viewers an amazing deal. Simply click the first link in the description and you will get 30% off your first box plus a free gift. So click the link and get started. Creating a halo effect. Now the halo effect is a psychological phenomenon where a positive impression in one area influences overall perception. In relationships, this can be achieved by displaying a trait or quality that she highly values, thereby positively affecting her overall view of you. So for instance, if she admires intelligence, engaging her in intellectually stimulating conversations can create a more favorable impression. This strategy works by aligning yourself with traits that she finds appealing, leading her to perceive your other qualities more positively as well. So to effectively use the halo effect, first understand what she values in a partner. This understanding can come from attentive listening and observing her interests and comments. Once you know what she admires, authentically display those qualities in yourself. If she values humor, for example, share your witty side. It's important, however, to be genuine and don't pretend to be someone that you're not. The goal is to highlight aspects of your true self that align with her values, not to create a deceptive facade. This approach helps in forming a deeper connection based on mutual appreciation and understanding. Foot in the door technique. The foot in the door technique is a psychological concept where agreeing to a small initial request increases the likelihood of agreeing to a second larger one. In dating, this can be applied by starting with a small, easy to accept interaction or favor and gradually building up to a more significant engagement. For example, asking for her opinion on something minor and then progressing to more substantial conversations or requests. This method works because initial small agreements create a sense of cooperation and rapport, making her more 
open to further interactions. When employing this technique, start with something small and non-intrusive. It could be as simple as just asking for a book recommendation or her thoughts on a topic. Once she responds positively, you can gradually increase your requests, like suggesting a meetup related to the initial topic of conversation. The key here is the progression. Each step should feel natural and unforced, building on the previous interaction. Now remember, the foundation of this method is mutual interest and respect. It's about creating a natural flow in the budding relationship, not manipulation. Anchoring effect in compliments. The anchoring effect is a cognitive bias where an individual relies too heavily on an initial piece of information, the anchor, when making decisions. Now, in the context of dating, this involves giving a standout compliment early in your interaction that becomes the anchor in her thoughts. For example, a unique and sincere compliment about her passion or intellect can set a positive tone for the rest of your interactions. This method works by creating a memorable initial impression that positively influences her subsequent feelings and perceptions about you. So to effectively use this technique, your compliment should be genuine, specific and memorable. Instead of generic praise, focus on something unique about her, like her sense of style, the way that she laughs or just her way of thinking. For instance, you can say, I've never met someone who can explain things as clearly as you do. It's really impressive. This approach not only makes her feel special, but also sets a positive tone that she's likely to remember and reflect on. It's important, however, to ensure the compliment is sincere and not just a tactic. As authenticity forms the basis of any meaningful relationship. Hey, just before we jump into the next one, if you're finding this video useful, a simple like or a comment goes a long way and I really appreciate it. The Zygonic Effect The Zygonic Effect is a psychological phenomenon where people remember uncompleted or interrupted tasks better than completed ones. So in dating, this can be applied by intentionally leaving stories or conversations slightly incomplete, creating a sense of curiosity and anticipation. For example, you might start an interesting story and then play say that you will finish it the next time you meet. This technique keeps you on her mind as she will be curious to know the rest. It's a subtle way to make your interactions memorable and to create an eagerness for future conversations. To utilize this effect, engage her in an interesting conversation or story and then find a natural pause where you can just leave a little bit of suspense. It could be something like, ah, remind me to tell you about the time I met a famous singer. It's a crazy story, but I'll save it for our next chat. The key is to make sure the story or information is genuinely interesting and relevant to her interests. This approach piques her curiosity and makes your next interaction something to look forward to. However, it's important to balance this technique with full and satisfying conversations, ensuring that it doesn't become frustrating or seem manipulative. Utilizing the peak end rule. The peak end rule is a psychological concept that people judge an experience largely based on how they felt at its peak and at its end, rather than the total sum or average of every moment of the experience. So in the context of dating, this means ensuring that your interactions with her end on a high note, creating a lasting and positive impression. It could be ending a date with a particularly enjoyable activity, a meaningful conversation or a thoughtful gesture. This strategy works by leaving her with a strong, pleasant memory of your time together, influencing her overall perception of the interaction positively. To effectively employ this technique, be mindful of how you conclude your time together. Plan for a memorable moment towards the end of your date or interaction. It could be sharing a heartfelt compliment, an enjoyable shared experience, or even planning the next meeting. For instance, at at the end of a coffee date, you might say something like, I had a great time today and I'd love to do it again. How about we check out that new art exhibit next weekend? Now, this approach not only creates a positive final impression, but also sets the stage for future interactions. Remember, the goal is to leave her feeling good about the time you've spent with her, eagerly anticipating more. Bonus tip. Complementing these strategies, our bonus tip is mastering the art of subtle suggestion. It's a powerful tool in creating attraction and interest, focusing on the nuances of communication that can significantly impact your dating interactions. Subtle suggestion involves the skillful use of language and nonverbal cues to influence someone's thoughts and feelings without being overt or explicit. This can include using suggestive language that hints at your interest or intentions, employing body language that indicates attraction, or sharing stories that evoke certain emotions or thoughts. For instance, talking about a romantic movie scene can subtly suggest romance. 
The key is to be understated yet impactful, allowing her to pick up on these cues and respond. This approach requires a balance of tact, timing, and understanding of social dynamics to be effective. Mastering subtle suggestion can elevate your dating game, creating a sense of intrigue and deeper engagement. It's about implying rather than declaring, leading to a more dynamic and interactive form of communication. When done well, it piques interest and keeps the flame of attraction burning, making for more captivating and meaningful exchanges. So now that you are a master of reverse psychology, what's next for you? Discover the phrases that ignite her desire for you or learn the lies that women tell to initiate the chase. Oh, and don't forget to click below to get hold of your own Teach Handley box. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe for more.